The sun's not out. It's always the same guy, too. I'm about to kick it across the universe. Hopefully it goes flying into the into the sky and disappears. Well, see you are positive life. They want they want a little piece of you, if not they want to diminish it. See a person can see you really happy. Outstandingly happy or content and And they want to be a part of it, but it most, it most feels like they're intruding. Like they're getting in the way of something bigger or of our happiness. And they'll sneak around, they'll sneak around and try to make you seem like a bad person. Like you're the negativity in their lives. Like, you're the reason why I can't be happy, or we can't be happy, right? <laughs> Happiness, sadness, it's just a temporary feeling. We like making these temporary feelings last longer. And the more we practice it, the more we practice being content with ourselves, the more, the more it lasts, the longer it lasts. Although we need tactics. We need to handle this with tactics. Because as soon as you show some kind of happiness or contentness around another person, that person either wants to know how or they try to just destroy it. They try to destroy the contentness or the happiness or however you're feeling. Sometimes we can just be distracted from life. We could be doing something useful, something helpful for another person. And they want to do everything in their power, anything and everything in their power to try to get to you to stop. But you got to realize that Negativity is scared of positivity. They're scared of it because either they can't feel it themselves or they just don't want to hear it off or they just don't want to change it off. But it's the little things. You just got to stop letting the little things bother you. Don't let the small things bother you because there'll be a lot of them. And they'll be on purpose too. And when we notice these things, when we notice these things being done on purpose to us, it's best to let karma handle it. Karma is a real thing. You give what you take and you take what you give. It's best not to let other people get on your bad side. Because that's what they want to do. They want to do it on purpose. Get on that side on purpose. In order for you to freak out. That way you can turn your positivity into negativity. And at the end, they leave. It's like, that's what makes them content. That's what makes them happy. Like, we got to remember to connect with ourselves each and every day through meditation. Through meditation, we can maintain a, a positive mindset. Not only that, it's like a workout for our brain. Our brain is a muscle. And if you work it out every day, it's tougher and stronger. It's less susceptible to negativity. Whoa. Like, I am not walking the dog for free. <laughs> Look at this little shit. I know I should be respecting all animals, but damn. If I don't know it, it ain't for me. It ain't mine. 
accumulate your own positivity. If you work on other people's happiness, other people's contentness, focus on how other people are feeling instead of yourself, you begin, you begin to be disconnected from yourself. I feel like I've said enough though. <laughs> I'm, I just want to enjoy my walk. Oh, another thing, accumulating happiness or contentness does not require money. That's probably the opposite of how you get happy or how you become more comfortable with yourself. Be less focused on money. Less focused on another person's dreams and more focused on your own. That'll bring more contentness. That'll bring more unhappiness. That will bring in more happiness into your own life. Into our lives. Temporary feelings are just here to come and go. They don't serve for long. They do a practice. That's another one. It's another one. So the less you have to work, the more happier you become. And that's the truth in itself. You may not have as much money in your pocket, but are you willing to trade that for your contentness? People usually use money to become happy. And that's gonna be so much better, that much better. And it might be, and it is, maybe for that short while, say a week, a month, a year. However long that, however that, however long that chunk of material lasts, is how long your happiness will probably stay, or your contentness will last. So, if you want solid contentness, focus less on money. Play more. Be a kid. Create. Bonjour. Et vous pour aller? Are you ready? I hope you are. I'm a quiet person. I don't really like talking to people unless they have something to offer me in advance. And I don't mean that by material mystic things or money. I mean, if you have an apple, I might eat it. <laughs> I might question it at first, ask if you put some kind of poison in it, but uh... Hey look, talking about an apple. Trust is hard to come by. You gotta realize human beings are selfish people. We're born selfish, we don't... We're born without love. We don't know how to love. Until we learn. We're naturally selfish human beings. And that's okay. That's all right because every, everyone's self-interested. But let's learn to love each other, huh? Let's learn to love a little bit. I hope he never knows that walking his dog is in the cost her. I am not walking his dog for you. You're dreaming. You're dreaming right now. Don't work on another person's dreams. Create your own. Work on your own. It's much easier in today's world with today's technology to become your own boss.